Hey everyone, welcome back to my next video. In today's uh, video, we have a real treat. My One of my oldest and best friends in the Nomad Life is going to present today, my friend Brian. And uh, I think you're going to really enjoy the video. Now, I know from uh, past videos that a lot of you are out there wondering, Oh, what's going on, Bob? Are, are you quitting? Are you sick? Are you dying? And my answer is to that is no such luck on your part. At any rate, I am not going anywhere. However, uh, I'm older and I would like to do less. And so my goal is to do less and less on the channel. And so I have been thinking about how to do that for years actually now. Another question you're probably going to have is why Brian? Uh, well, literally Brian is one of my oldest and best friends in the nomadic life. I've known Brian for 11 years now, but I know Brian's heart. And Brian's heart is uh, to love and care about people. That will always be the primary thrust of this channel. How can I help the nomad community? How can I help the individual who's suffering and needs hope? This channel is about offering hope. So I think the channel will change. It will be different, but its heart of caring and compassion will always be there. And let me tell you why I'm convinced that's true. When we started Homes and Wheels Alliance three years ago, uh, we needed board members. So when I thought about who would be on the board of trustees, Brian was the very first person I thought of, and he is now still on the board. He is the treasurer of the board. He contributes his whole life and heart and soul to helping others through Hawa. The heart and soul of Chief RV Living will not change. Brian's heart is to care and help people, to give hope, to give a way forward. That will never change on Chief RV Living. In fact, I believe it will be enhanced by Brian being a part. I hope you will welcome him in and see that this is a step forward and not in any way, shape, or form a step backwards or even a step sideways. This is an improvement. We'll find out together. So let's watch the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm reporting from the uh, RTR in 2022. On today's schedule, we're having uh, basically a van open house. People are bringing their vans, uh, showing us their build, things like that. They're all lined up and people are just going around, checking out different people's builds and so forth. So really cool event. So let's go check it out, see what you guys think. Yeah. And what's your favorite thing about your build? Uh, the one thing, if you had to pick one thing, what's your favorite thing? My little spot right here, I just sit and chill in my meditation spot. Oh, nice. I, I can just pull anywhere and open my door and just sit there and just soak in the uh, atmosphere around me. Oh, the favorite part is probably the newest thing. I've gone to induction cooking rather than a butane stove. That's that's kind of a new thing. That's awesome. And uh, that's, uh, that's that's been, a, I won't call it so much of a game changer, but no open flames or anything like that, fast cooking, yeah. stuff like that. I've got enough battery and all to handle that. So what's your favorite part about your build? What's your favorite, what if you had to pick my, one thing? Probably my bed, being able, being five foot and being able to sleep across. Yeah. And that's just so space saving my bed. Yeah, that and is so, excellent. How tall are you? Five foot, five and then, foot, then okay. I use the window ledges, they're like four inches. I built the bed lower than the ledges and then build up with my mattress. Okay. And then my bed pulls out in the back. It, that little shelf pulls out. The table pulls out from under my bed. The bed actually pulled out the full size, but now I've done that build, so I scrapped that. That's awesome. When Thank I, you so much. I appreciate welcome. that. I'm not a woodworker, okay. but I know how to put erector sets together. <laughs> and so this angle iron here is the structure of the van. Oh. This is a former wheelchair van, so there's yeah. channels in the floor. It's all bolted down. Uh -huh. The tall parts are bolted in with the shoulder belts, uh -huh. the seat belts. Okay. And I can grab anywhere and shake the van with the interior build. That is excellent. So it is sturdy. It's, well, when your home has an earthquake every day, it has to be. So 
So you put the high top on? Yeah, me and some friends, help up friends, because it's really heavy and there's no way I could have done it myself. Yeah. So. Okay, and you're a tall dude, so that probably helps. Yeah, it was a couple of years prior to that that I was just crawling around there like a troll, you know. bought it off a company and it was vinyl wrapped to begin with oh. and I actually just covered up all of their logos and stuff with the black and the silver so like on this side I kind of tried to make it like a jellyfish in that the water. That is so cool. And the other side is different so I made some modifications to that as well so that it's kind of a little bit more pre-planned kind of looking yeah. instead of just randomized. So. so if you had to pick one thing out of your van that you'd love the most, what is it? I really like having a good fridge freezer, just oh. being able to have all the food you could ever want. Yeah. Like normal sticks and brick. That's and like, nice. I've got tons of ice cream with me, so <laughs> that's, that's my guilty pleasure. And so I've got like four different big jugs of ice cream with me at all times. Well, this build's a little different because it's based on a bulkhead, on bulkheads okay. instead of Instead of things being attached to the to the body, yeah, um, there's three bulkheads, uh, and all the cabinetry you see and everything is suspended from bulkheads. Oh, no kidding. It doesn't okay. really touch the body. There's a few brackets in a few places, okay. but it doesn't really touch the body. It's extremely quiet. The van's extremely comfortable. Wow. It has an enormous amount of storage space. Uh, today I'm reporting to you from the last day of the RTR, or the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous of 2022. Uh, yesterday we had an open house of vans and minivans. Today we have everything else. Let's go check it out and uh, come along for the ride. I don't think I could pick one favorite part, okay. but I just love the whole thing. And you know, yeah. my door's cool, but I like the fact that it's like a home inside. It's, yeah. it's like a cabin. It's Well, lately we changed the bed from north-south, we call it, to sideways, and it's full-time like that because we thought we would break it down and set it up every night and that it was just too much of a pain, so we're so much happier that we have a permanent bed. And then you have a, what's your favorite part about your simple system here? The uh, economy. Okay. That I this is a diesel and I get average sixty miles a gallon. No kidding. Yeah, and it's so, a Volkswagen bug, right? Right. So I shipped it in from Hawaii, uh -huh. and I'm trying to get to all fifty states. Excellent. And how far have you made it? Forty-five states so far. So this is my maiden voyage. I'm not in my rig yet. What I'm trying to do is see what I need. And next year, I'll, I'm hoping to have a full working rig. The number one is the climate control. I can leave it running 24 seven. So if, you know, if the weather's cold, I'm not, I'm not. Okay. If the weather's hot, I'm not. And you know, the, the engine, consumes so little fuel when it's in standby mode that you know it, it's better than any generator I could own. The freedom. The freedom of course my sign outside that I don't know if you saw the route sign when I was out there. Yeah but route free. It's just fun to drive. I like it. It's easy to drive and uh, I can go anywhere. I can go, not anywhere, I can go a lot of places in it. 
and uh, all-wheel it's, drive, I'm assuming? Um, it, it is four-wheel drive okay. under about 25 or 30 miles an hour. Okay. So if, I, if I'm going through an especially sandy or muddy uh -huh. or snowy spot on, on a dirt road, I can, I can get through it That's without awesome. too much trouble. I like that it's small. I can fit in a regular size parking lot. Um, I can fit in my parents' driveway perfectly. Like I like that my it's fully contained. It's my home, yeah. but I have it with me. Very nice. And how many feet is this? 19 feet. That is a perfect size. Oh my god. It's like a small studio apartment. Yes, on wheels. Yeah. It goes anywhere. It goes anywhere. All right. Yes, Excellent. It's got great ground clearance and it's lightweight. Did you build it yourself? Oh, I had the shell made and then I did the inside build. If you had to pick one thing in here that's your favorite thing uh, or coolest thing about your build, what do you think it is? Well, probably how efficient uh, these full extension drawers and everything is. And yeah, you, want access. To, you want to pull one of those out and I'll let yeah. you do that real quick? My pantry. Oh, that's excellent. That comes all the way out. That's right. Oh. That is perfect. And you said your son built that? My son built all of this. Oh, that is excellent. And then your yeah. bed system is yeah. right there and it just folds yeah. up against the wall. Just drop this. And the mattress, it's a uh, twin size mattress, it, it folds on it. So all of this is storage. Oh, okay. That is and really slick. And I slick. discovered this new storage here. You see? Oh. Aerial space there that was wasted. I made these bags. Oh, that is perfect. <laughs> All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the tours today. Uh, they were real quick, uh, but we got a little sample of a little.